Hello and welcome to the inaugural episode of the On Deck Circle presented to you by FantasyOnDeck.com where we do the research so you don't have to. Is that really our slogan? I guess. <laughs> uh, today we'll be previewing the catcher position for the upcoming fantasy baseball season and here are a few notes on the position. There's not much going on involving the catcher position, but one big thing is Braves catcher Brian McCann is looking at a mid-April return after rehabbing from shoulder surgery. He did say that once he could throw and not be sore the next day is when he know he'll be back in game shape. One more big thing to talk about is Tigers catcher Victor Martinez will no longer be catching. He will likely serve the season as their designated hitter, making him eligible as utility and DH, and maybe he'll get five games in at first base. Now let's take a look at our rankings. Here at Fantasy on Deck, we rank the top 24 catchers for those of you that play in two catcher leagues. Let's take a look at 1 through 12. At the top here we have Posey, Carlos Santana, and Joe Maurer. These three guys will likely be gone by the middle or end of uh, round 4. Their value really lies in the fact that they're going to get some games at first base and DH because well, not Posey because he plays in the NL, but for Santana and Maurer, they're going to get some games at DH. They're going to have more at-bats. They're going to play more games than these other catchers that are just everyday catchers. But don't let their eligibility fool you. Play them as catchers. Don't start them as a first baseman or utility. Their value is strongest as a catcher. Same yes. thing with Mike Napoli. He'll be playing first base for every day for the Red Sox. He might get some games as catcher, some as DH, but... As far as owners are concerned, play him as your catcher. Don't be that guy. Do not start a catcher in your first base position. Now, looking, moving on to the 13 through 24 rankings. These catchers are really just guys that you're going to draft as maybe backups or in if you start two catchers in your league, maybe a roto league. This is where their values re really lies and... You're going to get them as late round picks. You're not going to use an early pick on any of these guys. AJ Przinsky is an interesting case because every year he was just viewed as a backup and for the White Sox. Now he moved to Texas. It's a good hitting stadium. He hit 27 home runs last year. He It'd be interesting to see if he could do it again. I personally don't think he can, but 20 in Texas, 20 is a good mark to expect from him. Uh, Ryan Dumit is another one of those guys that's going to get more playing time at the catcher position in fantasy because he does get games in the outfield for Minnesota and could get some games at DH as well. Um, another guy who's moved on to a new team is Russell Martin. He's no longer with the Yankees. He moves over to the Pittsburgh Pirates. Arg. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he, he also wants to play. He wants to play shortstop for Canada in the World Baseball Classic. If anyone's wondering that. Doesn't make much sense to me, but, you know, don't expect as much production as he got in the Yankees lineup because it was a much better hitter's ballpark and he had more protection around him. Not that the Pirates lineup is bad because it is solid, but it's not the Yankees. John Jaso will be the starting catcher on opening day for the Oakland A's. He'll have some competition for the spot, but as of now, he's pounced in as the starter. He was solid when he was on the Rays, but he didn't see everyday minutes. I mean, everyday didn't start every day, but he'll, he's an interesting option this year. One fun thing to do before every fantasy baseball season is to make bold predictions. Do you have any involving the catcher position? I do. I'm going to go on record to say right now that Indians catcher Carlos Santana will finish the 2013 fantasy baseball season as the top scoring catcher. I believe this because for once in his career, he has much more line of protection around him with Nick Swisher coming over from the Yankees. As Drupal Cabrera is still there with the team, they get Mark Reynolds. Um, he's going to have the opportunity to drive in more runs this season with Michael Bourne hitting at the top of that lineup. Michael Brantley. Um, they still have. They also acquired Drew Stubbs in a trade. He's he's better in head-to-head -head formats because he's going to walk a lot. He led all catchers in the majors last year with 91 walks. In early April this season, he's going to be turning 27, which is entering his prime years. I mean, just look at that swing. That swing is beautiful. 
I would say he's a legitimate candidate this season to bat around 270 to 280, 25 to 30 home runs, and over 80 RBIs. This season is going to be his career year by far. The key with him is just staying healthy, but I mean, that can, that can be said for a lot of players. In 12-team leagues, I would say target him in maybe the end of round three, early round four. Um, with that being said... Do you have any bold predictions for this upcoming fantasy season? I do. Mine is that Mets catcher Travis Darno will finish this year as a top 12 catcher. He's maybe going out on a limb, but when you've been traded for two Cy Young Award winners, the expectations are high. Mets general manager Sandy Alderson says he can win the job in spring training, but that is unlikely. The Mets could push back his arbitration clock one year if he plays April in the minors. But that shouldn't scare owners because many rookies have impressed that they're starting out in the minors. Some names that come to mind are Mike Trout, Bryce Harper, and most comparable to Darno, Buster Posey. In just 67 games last season, Darno hit 333 with 16 home runs, 52 RBI, and he had 39 extra base hits and just 279 at bats. It was in Las Vegas, but his stats from previous years proved that that was no fluke. According to MockDraftCentral.com, he has an average draft position of 274 and is the 25th catcher off the board. We at Fantasy on Deck have him ranked 20th at the catch position, but I personally believe that if he gets called up, say in around May, he'll still play around 100 games. He could finish with like 15 home runs, bat around 280, maybe 300. In the Mets lineup, he'll probably only get around 65, 70 RBIs, but... From a catcher, those numbers are still very good. He brings decent speed, some pop to the lineup. And in 108 games in 2010, Buster Posey was able to not only help fantasy teams, but win Rookie of the Year. And Travis Darno, at age 24, he's ready to make a splash in the majors. This question comes in from one of our Twitter followers, at Dan Miser, who asks, Who will be the Yankees' most productive catcher in fantasy this year? What do you think, Mike? I'd have to go with Francisco Cervelli. I don't like him that much. I don't think he's worth drafting only unless you're in deep league or AL only. I They have Roman, but he was injured, didn't play much last year, didn't see more than 27 at-bats higher than double A. I don't like Chris Stewart, especially in a fantasy option. How about you? Yeah, I mean, you pretty much said everything I was thinking. Cervelli is the only one maybe worth owning in an AL only league. The thing is, with this year with the Yankees, they don't really have a catcher that can produce in fantasy. Uh, Cervelli, you don't even know what's going to happen with the PED accusation. He might serve a suspension. Um, but he just he doesn't bring much to the table in fantasy. Chris Stewart, you know, they're all going to be battling for time. It's just it's a sticky situation. There's not really anyone worth owning there. Stay away. But um, send us in some questions for next week as we'll be talking about the corner infield positions, first base, and third base. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter, at Fantasy on Deck. Like us on Facebook, and follow, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And make sure not only to visit the site, but to register on it. A lot of cool features coming soon. It's been real. Stay classy, fantasy owners.